Hi, my name is Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to make an audio video feedback visualizer crazy magic machine type thing, or how to turn a thousand dollars in modules into something that Windows Media Player does for free. We're going to start by plugging a source into the A119 external input module. In this case, I'm using this little carbon microphone thing I bought off of eBay, but you know. It's pretty handy for video feedback gigs since you don't have to worry about patching into the main board. You just have a little microphone, battery powered, pretty handy. Now we're going to take audio output 1 and go into a filter. In this case, we're using a live wire filter, but you know, any filter will do. In this case, I'm going to leave it set to low pass. Band pass would also work too for something interesting. Now I'll we'll take the signal output of that and put it into input A of the MFB VD01 video scope. Now you see we already have something going on there for the A channel, and that's great. Now we'll take another audio output off of the A19, 119, and we'll bring that into a Plan B filter. Again, any filter would work. In this case, uh, I have this handy and it's fun for this kind of use. We're going to use the high pass or the band pass here to get something a little bit different plug that into input B on here and now we have two channels and whatever and I know you're saying yeah so what this is what the video scope does uh, show me something new with it alright now what I have going on here is I sip the output of my Nikon D90 that we're shooting this on I've got that going into a old uh, mid 90s videonics video mixer you could use anything with like a chroma key or a luma key type function in this case I'm going to use chroma key. And uh, actually I need to reverse my sources in order for this to work, but no big deal. I'll just patch this into here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to hit chroma key. Now if I'm playing a, uh, doing a live video feedback set, I'll then turn the gain down real quick over here to make sure to get a clean sampling of the black, and then I hit, okay, great, this works back. Turn my audio levels back on there. And now we have this cool thing here. If I kind of, you know, zoom the camera into, you know, you kind of see it's kind of a fun little chaotic video feedback thing. I can see all the Nikon D90 peers now freaking out that I'm actually putting my sensor through this. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but where it gets interesting is if you have something like this, the little Korg and Trancer chaos pad type deal here. Now, you know, this is basically a Korg chaos pad for video, and you can do all kinds of fun, great stuff, a handy live tool for video feedback manipulation type VJ sets. So now, I'm going to use it on patch number one, which kind of changes the hue or whatever of the image. I now see what happens now when I plug this crazy video feedback loop into here and just kind of process this. And, you know, you could certainly have like a lot of fun and spend hours just creating live, weird, chaotic, real-time video feedback images using nothing more than this little patch alone. Pretty handy, huh? Hopefully that inspires you and, you know, you go off and make your own crazy magic video feedback noise and fun stuff. All right.